made the Olympic team in my first year out of high school. I was the youngest ever athlete to get selected on the Australian Olympic team. I was only 18 years of age, had my 19th birthday after the 92 Olympics, watching the, we finished competing in the men's rowing, and I was watching the 4x100 relay team from your country win a track gold medal. And so that was a really amazing experience. But the point is, is that when I came out of school, I had phenomenal coaches. Now, I don't know if that was because I had talent at school. I don't think that was the case because the reality is, is at school, I lost every single race. Did not win a race. Yeah, so obviously it wasn't my fault, right? <laughs> anyway, point is, is that I had coaches who looked after me. And throughout my entire career, I've managed to always be coached by coaches who had more than just my interests as an athlete at heart. They were coaches who taught me more than just how to pull an oar through the water. They taught me more about, you know, just more than just rowing technique, basically. You know, their coaches had a profound impact on my life, and really the work that we do today is a credit to the coaches that we had. Now, one of those coaches who I stayed with for three Olympics, and each Olympics we won a medal, so I eventually ended up going to four Olympic Games in rowing and different crews each time, and we won three Olympic medals. They were all bronze, unfortunately. Or well, fortunately, depending on which way you look at it, right? You know, I can't say I'm 100% satisfied with every single medal that we won. I would surely like, and sometimes I polish them and they try to change their colour, but they don't turn into gold ones no matter what you do now. It's all done. <coughs> but the reality is, is that, um, you know, when I think about the, the coach who had the biggest impact on my life and career, a coach by the name of Tim McLaren, he was your head coach here in the US for uh, the last uh, few there years. There was one thing he talks about to be an effective coach what you really need to become very good at in is 2000, having a very good eye. We came third. We won a bronze medal in 2000, and we lost the gold medal by 0.29 percent. You know, and that's that's the great thing about sport, isn't it? Like we had a team last year that competed in a uh, you know championship in Australia where one goal defined their season. They score that goal. They win that game. They get enough games to be won to actually make the final series, true? I mean, you've probably had seasons like that too, right? And that's the thing about sport. It's different to business, although there's a lot of models that we can use from business which work really well. I mean, it, most of these ones, for example. But in sport, if you're still chasing one percenters, like, that's a standard. But I like to think about it in terms of you've got to chase the point ones. Every tiny little thing is an opportunity because it has a cumulative effect. Now, there was nothing, literally nothing, that we didn't do in 2000 to win a gold medal, and it didn't happen. And that's, that's just how it goes, right? I mean, that's life, right? We, the guys that we raced that day, one was Stephen Redgrave from the British crew. He won his fifth Olympic gold medal that day. Some say the greatest ever strength endurance to athlete in the history of sport. Five Olympic gold medals. And, you know, he beat us by 0.29 of a percent. I mean, that's life. But the point is, is you can look back and say, well, we didn't leave a stone unturned. We did everything we possibly could in our preparation. And so, you know, I don't think we created the same level of synergy that we really need information, then, you know, we're really happy to help. You know, most of the stuff on our website is free. We only charge for the profiling and my time to chat with you and different athletes and that type of thing. But most of the stuff is free. And literally, our purpose is to help coaches be better coaches. Because as I said to you before, you know, I had a great experience in sport because I had great coaches. And so this is a way, in many ways, for us to give something back to sport. Not just in our country, but in your country, in the UK, New Zealand, and lots of other places where we do work as well. Does that, does that make sense?